Hello, my fellow friends! What are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do about Nero? How are we gonna handle this all? Okay. Good idea. We wanna keep an eye on that smug little bastard. Yeah, that's a good question. Where is everybody? Yeah, uh, the two of them aren't gonna gonna let him get away with anything. He is on thin ice with both of them right now, and he hasn't even done anything yet. Call them up. Oh, she is not going to let you get anything in. Okay. I, I just love how she is having just absolutely none of his shit. Like everyone else is, if a bit cold and reluctant to accept his help, they're at least being, so far, at least somewhat, somewhat civil to them. You know, making it clear that he's only here out of necessity. But they're not gonna be like just straight up mean to him. Like we need him, all right. But 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 Elise is just like fuck that guy. Ugh. But I find it interesting that, well, we just actually fly to Mordona. Well, maybe you should design your own airship and go into business. Yeah, no, he's just a dick. He's a hilarious dick, but he's still a dick. We shall. Hi guys, I'm back. Yes, I think you should make him a cup of tea. Let's be at least somewhat friendly to him and... If anyone's gonna be nice to him, it should be you. But you can make it exceptionally strong. I will, I will allow for that. Doesn't need to be perfect tea, but you should make them tea. Aw, she's keeping homie company! That's so nice of her. Play some cards. You know, for all you are supposed to be keeping an eye on him, you're like letting him stay the hell over here. Hmm, so these are the fabled headquarters of the Scions. I confess I would have expected an order of self-proclaimed warrior scholars to surround themselves with the fruits of man's enlightenment. And yet there's not so much as a single piece of Magitek in sight. Well, it's not like the Empire is fucking selling any of that to us on the open market, Nero. It never ceases to amaze me how primitive you Eorzeans truly are. Gee, are you offering your services elsewhere, Nero? Oh, I'll have you know that the Rising Stones is home to the very latest in Magitek innovation. 
Wedge calls it the Mark 14 Thermocoil Boil Master, and it's the finest kettle I've ever had the pleasure to own. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hi, Ida. We are returned. Really? I didn't notice. Well, Ida and I, at least. Ishtola and the others remain behind to continue their assessment of the binding magic. There didn't seem much point staying just for that, so I decided to come back with Alphano. Papalimo bought us this time. We shouldn't waste it. No, but you needed a few moments. Or a few hours. It's alright, Ida. Not holding it against you. By your leave! Good gods, that voice could fell a gigas. <laughs> this is the Rising Stones, domicile of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I enter at the invitation of one Lord Urionje. Yeah, it would have been nice if we were in the call us. <laughs> I spy you there, Shadow Walker. You always were a hard one to find. Yugiri, do you know this man? <laughs> Everyone's like, get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> Gosetsu, why are you come to Eorzea? In search of you, Yugiri. For days and nights did I row across the angry sea. I made port in good spirits, only for my own flesh to betray me over the trifling matter of an empty belly. Collapsed in the street like an unfed stray I was, until Lord Urionje came to my aid. Over a most welcome meal, we spoke of the plight of Doma, and I learned of our displaced countrymen's work to resettle this blighted land. T'was blind fortune that I was able to locate you so swiftly. Why don't I ever really get fed around here? But now we must make ready to depart. Our master languishes in dire peril, and Doma calls her daughter home. You came all this way just to get her? Quite a long it journey. It is not so simple, Gozetsu. There are obligations which bind me here. You... You refuse? Did you mislay your oath during your flight from our homeland? The laws of hospitality must be honored, but surely the vow to defend your master demands the greater obeisance. Oh, so he does have an indoor voice. It was our master who bid me guide our people to safe haven by any means necessary. And it was the scions you see before you who provided us succor and sanctuary when all others refused. Dire peril or no. Were I to return without first repaying such hospitality, our master would cut me down at the threshold. Hmm. Mayhap that is so. There is more. A crisis threatens all within this realm, Eorzean and Doman alike, and I go to play my part in its resolution. I will not bring shame upon our liege by abandoning my people or my duty. Hmm, how very noble of you. Now, in the name of honor, kinship, and, ah, oh, yes, practicality, might I suggest we get this expedition underway? Or would you rather debate the finer points of duty and leave Omega to the Empire? Yeah, and Hero's like, yeah, get me out of this, all this, this, this mushy hoo-ha. The Empire? You, Giddy? You draw steel against the curs of Garlemald? We're not going to comment how we have a clearly Garlean man standing next to you? Okay, he doesn't work for the Imperials anymore, but but, but you don't know that. D do you not know what the third eye means? Are we not going to address this? Nothing? No? Okay. Then why did you not say so? My blade is oath-bound to fall upon the ranks of the Imperials wheresoever they march. Lead on, Shadow Walker. And may the enemy tremble at our coming. Uh, keep it down, my eardrums are trembling just a little bit. Oh. 
Okay. What is it? Yeah, about that. No touchy. I did not consent to that. Oh, she made me an outfit. And the fandom could quit bitching about this. Not bad, not bad. Tatter, I would have worn anything you would have made me. I think you need to make something for Ida. Okay, this monocle makes my eye look weird. <laughs> So yeah, that was a little weird place to put that scene, but I guess I had to put it somewhere. Make something for Ida! Well, Wedge has a habit of just naming things with without reason, so I don't think there were really 13 ones previous to that. And Nero, are you offering? Are you offering? I'm sure we could use, would do with a hot water heater in here. I'm really sure we could. Eh? Eh? I really wish they would have done that. Where, where they would have taken this little idea and just kind of, of him being like, oh my god, this place is so primitive. And the rest of them just kind of goaded him in for a while into, like, actually building stuff for this headquarters. Because remember, we're broke. Alright, so... Well, I don't think anyone here desires to really be living in the lap of luxury. There's probably some upgrades we most definitely, you know, could be a bit more convenient to us. And then just have him, like, build, like, a bunch of shit before he actually realizes that we're entirely abusing him. I know the situation doesn't really, like, call for the ability to actually sit around and do this. But I just think it would be, it'd be just, just hilarious if, if we just put Nero to work. Just, like, making all these contraptions for us. Okay. Well, she's not gonna be like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Shut up. Oh, I'm ready now. Let's go going. Let's go. Let's go. Surprise Alize is actually gonna let Nero out of her sight, but she's probably sick of seeing a smug face right about now. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. Excuse me. Did I ask to be kicked out of my home? Well, my other home? My home away from my other home. Yeah, maybe for once nothing will actually happen here in our absence. I, I can trust her to hold the fort down. Okay, so you guys are still the same. You stay in your little conversations over there. You know, I really wish that they actually had the 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 former Braves sitting around and actually doing something. Like, don't just, like, cut them out of the story entirely. Like, leave them hanging around. Or have it a line here or there about stuff they're doing or anything. No, they just... 
completely just knocked him out of the story. Not, like, not that they were extremely pivotal characters or anything, but considering how important that little Alpha Now Becomes Mini Twilight Sparkle scene was, I, I expected to see a little bit more of them. Like, they do get mentions in passing and everything, but... Just a little more here or there, or them stopping by, be like, oh, you need our help, or anything like that, or just, just anything. Even for just flavor dialogue, I would have taken that. You look a little lost. Well, we're not hiring Nero, sort of, for his battle prowess. He's an engineer. Are we ever actually going to do anything with What's-Her-Face Ivy? Like, she keeps getting mentioned, and she had her hands so deep in fucking everything. What actually happened with her? Like, honestly, like, am I completely forgetting something somewhere? I honestly don't remember anything about her. Like, she escaped from prison at one point, and then we had to go chase her down again. But after that... I don't remember damn thing being mentioned about like her getting a trial or just being executed or what or being transported. So, like, like if I'm missing something, just please someone fill me in about her. J like honestly, because I'm really confused why they keep bringing her up and not resolving anything with that. Now where was that? Ah. I've enabled the teleporter. One brief jump and we shall arrive in Omega's control room. How convenient. You've been here before. Well, how do you think he knew where to go? Of course. It was no easy task threading a path through all the skirmishes. But how could I ignore the existence of such a fascinating toy? You may trust that my preliminary examination was suitably thorough. Trust? Aye. I trust your appetite for technology. Dude, don't threaten him lest he sick the thing on us. I chased down a suspect airship, and who should I find but the traitor, Sid Garland. Searching for something, Engineer? Something big? It's close, isn't it? No, I'm not searching. I found it. Already. Taken care of. <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once. Of all the scouts the Empire could have sent. Take care of that brute, will you? Uh, Nero? What? Nero? Do you have a pass with them or something? God damn it. Can't let Nero tinker around in there by himself. I'm sorry to leave you to it, but... I dare say you'll manage without me. This Claude has no idea who he's dealing with. I am Gorsetsu, Samurai of Doma. You will rue your choice of opponent this day. Uh, excuse me? I'm the protagonist of the story here? Okay, that's not the least bit suggestive. Kick some butt. Hi. It's all over now. Oh, maybe I watched it when he was still in free.
Look upon a samurai of Dama. Yeah, okay, I'm looking. You're kind of hard to miss. Oh no, you hit me with a hammer. No holding back. Whatever am I going to do? Leave this to me. Dude, he's, he's our only opponent to fight. It's not like I can just leave you and attack somebody else. Look upon a samurai of Dama. I already did! Uh oh, oh, now you're gonna call your cronies in? With soul and steel. Alright, alright, well, if that's the way you guys want it, that's the way you guys are gonna get it. Oh, look at that. I just killed a bunch of you at once. You, you got anything more to throw at me? With soul and steel. Is, is your armor made out of tissue paper or something? Mayhap? Oh my god, you guys are kicking all their asses for me! Come on, I'm the damn warrior of light! I'm supposed to be doing all the hard work! An opening. I don't know, but it's the paper's so thin, so... Would you stop saying that? Oh my god, he did that the last time when I was doing this on my main character, and it got so fucking annoying! Yeah, I've killed like 30 of you guys already. Yeah, you tell him, Ida. You tell him. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Narrow. That was actually a pretty sweet bro of you. He didn't have to do that. My right to strike. An opening. It's all over now. my friends. Uh, apologies for the random ass cut here. Um, I made a crucial error. Look upon a samurai and I've recorded so much. I ran out of hard drive space. Your defense is lacking. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I have you. So thankfully I actually caught that my capture card wasn't recording anymore and was able to stop and I just ended up suiciding in here. Oh, 
Okay. You have a death wish? I will gladly grant it, sir. As you know, you nearly broke my hard drive. So much data. This way I can get Nero to make one with a larger capacity. Well, I just totally walked into that. Actually walking out of the AoEs? What? What? I have you. What? Well, no, y'all stood on that one. Okay. Never mind. You got my hopes up there for a moment. I know. But you people stop saying the same dang things. Holy this crap! Is get so old in this instance. Mind you, this is only the second, well, technically right third time I've done this, and it's just as annoying as it was the first time. I think once you've exhausted all their dialogue options, just have them shut up for the rest of the battle. Or just have the dialogue boxes above their head, but not make them actually speak the dialogue. No holding back. Just makes them sound like a bunch of broken records. Let him run. Okay. All right. Fine. You dishonor family. I'm not sorry. You guys are hard at work, I see. Temporal stasis disengaged. All systems operational. Garland? All clear on this side. It's waking up. Thanks for waiting for me. Omega sensors immediately detected the presence of the cocoon, even at this distance. They must have been set to scan for sources of energy exceeding certain magnitudes. Well, Cardinal isn't exactly all that far from the edge of the Twelveswood. I still don't see any means to control the machine directly. It seems to have been designed to act wholly autonomously. Hmm. Maybe there's a little man in there. Once we release Omega, we can be fairly certain it will attempt to capture the Primal at Belsar's Wall. Assuming its mission is successful, our only option at that point will be to re-engage its stasis system and put it back to sleep. You would think we would actually discuss this before we turn the damn thing on? And should the machine happen to misbehave, we'll simply initiate an emergency shutdown. I confess, we don't yet have a complete grasp of its capabilities, but I'm certain the details will not elude us for long. Well, isn't that like a blueprint and hologram, like, on the screen there? Something, maybe? Well, I understood less than half of that. So, my question to you is, are we doing the right thing? Little late to be asking that. <laughs> We're already here. Yeah. I suppose not. All right. Step aside, Sid. Is this the thing I need to press? Uh, yes, that's the one. Nero's gonna let her press it too? Wow. 
I'm actually surprised at him. You gave too much for us to waste this chance, Papalimo. So this is for you. And me. Here we go, guys. <laughs> yes! Fly free, my pretty! Show us what you can do! Oh my god, I just fucking love Nero. You can tell he just totally just creamed his pants there. The launch sequence has begun. Omega is loose. On just in time, I guess. Well, Omega certainly made it here fast. I guess all the dead bodies now are going to be completely washed away. Free cleanup job, I guess. Omega, he certainly is fast. Anything left in Belzar's wall after all that? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. You Imperials know how to build the fortress, don't you?
It's a whole one! Huh? Omega has stopped transmitting. But that shouldn't be. I, I didn't engage the stasis system. Oh, maybe he got blown up. And what does this signify? I have little understanding of these contrivances. The launch went exactly to plan, but all signals emanating from Omega have ceased. This may indicate any number of things, but we will need to join the Scions out in the field if we are to ascertain which one. He said, you, uh, Nero, you almost sound like you were looking forward to that. Right. I've ordered a malfunctioning beast to go to sleep. That should prevent any unfortunate mishaps. I suggest we make our way back to Gradania. Uh, it, but is he gonna go back to sleep if he's malfunctioning? I mean, we don't know that for sure, as Nero said, but... If he is malfunctioning, would the sleep function actually maybe even work? Wait, what? Omega destroyed the cocoon. Hapalimo's spell is fading. It was bound to his ether, you see. And if the connection is broken... Uh, Ida, I, I believe you owe me an explanation. What the hell did I just witness? Well, oh, okay then. Alright. I think we'll leave it at that for now. No idea what the hell is going on anymore. We didn't see what was going on outside and now Ida's tattoos are just, just, just poofed into the aether. I don't know. I don't know. What the hell do we make of this, guys? What the hell we will make of it? We're gonna have to wait next time. Thank you for watching. I will see you then.